Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Magnus Carlsen and Fabiano Caruana. This game was played in St. Louis, United States, in 2014. Magnus Carlsen had white pieces and he started at e4. Caruana played e5. And now Carlsen played bishop to c4. Interesting. This move is not often seen on a high level. Very popular on beginner's level, especially among kids. From here, kids like to play queen to h5 and then queen takes pawn on f7, check mate. Black to move. I teach kids to play knight to f6 in this position. And this is what Carvana played, knight to f6. D3, C6, preparing D5, Knight to F3, D5, Bishop to B3, Bishop to B4, check, C3, Bishop to D6. So Knight, White Knight can go to C3 now. Bishop to G5, pinning the Knight. D takes on E4, D takes on E4, H6. Attacking the bishop, bishop to h4, queen to e7, knight from b to d2, knight from b to d7, bishop to g3, bishop to c7, Carlsen castle, the kingside, and Caruana played a knight to h5. After 12 moves have been played, it appears that white didn't get even a slightest advantage out of the opening. Carlsen played h3, knight takes bishop, pawn takes knight. What do you think of this position? Is it safe to say that black is slightly better? Do you agree? Black has a bishop pair and a better pawn structure. Black to move. Castling kingside comes to mind. This is a very sensible move. However, Caruana played knight to c5, making the position critical. Caruana is tempting Carlsen to sacrifice the bishop on f7. Would you? Carlsen accepted the challenge and sacrificed the bishop. Check. King takes bishop. Knight takes on e5, double check. King to g8. Knight to g6. Forking the queen and the rook on h8. Caruana kept his cool and played queen to g5. Rook to f8, check. If Knight takes on h8. Caruana intended queen to e3. And after king to h1, queen takes on g3, threatening checkmate. After e5, bishop takes on e5. And after say knight to f3, bishop to d6, and black is better. So, Carlsen played rook to f8. Check. King to h7. Knight takes on h8. If rook takes on h8, then king takes on g6. So we have knight takes on h8. Black to move. What would you do? Caruana played a very cool move. Bishop to g4, attacking the queen. Sacrificing the bishop. Discovered attack on the rook on f8. How should white continue? Carlsen played queen to f1. If pawn takes bishop, then rook takes rook and black is winning. If queen takes on g4, then rook takes on f8. And after queen takes queen, pawn takes queen. And white knight on h8 is trapped. Black is winning in this variation too. So we have queen to f1, 
Night to D3. White to move. Carlsen has a choice. Queen takes knight. Or rook takes rook on a8. Carlsen captured the knight. If rook takes rook, then queen to e3 check. King to h1. Queen takes on g3, threatening check mate. After e5, knight to f2 check. This position was not to Carlsen's liking. So we have queen takes on d3. Rook takes rook. H takes on g4. Queen takes on g4. Knight to f3. Queen takes on g3. White is a piece up. But for how long? Carlsen played e5. King takes knight. Material is equal. And black's position is preferred. Do you agree? e6 it is black to move what would you do in this position if you had black pieces what is the winning move for black is it a peace sacrifice no the winning move is not a peace sacrifice it is bishop to b6 check if king to f1 queen to f2 checkmate so, Carlsen played the king to h1, queen to g4, attacking the pawn on e6, and threatening queen to h5, check. Queen to d6, rook, that is attacking the rook, rook to d8, attacking the queen, queen to e5, rook to d5, attacking the queen. Queen to b8 check, king to h7, e7, black to move. What would you do? Would you play queen to h5 check or rook to h5 check? Which move is better? Have a good look. If you need, pause the video and find the best move. Caruana played queen to h5. Would you play this too? What's wrong with rook to h5? Is this winning? Rook to h5 is not winning for black. Why not? Because of this continuation. Knight to h2. And now if queen to e4, then the pawn is promoted to queen and white is winning if rook takes knight then queen takes rook and white is winning in this variation too hmm interesting isn't it for example after queen to e4 queen to g3 queen takes pawn rook to e1 and white is better. So Caruana played the best move. Queen to h5 check. Knight to h2. Black to move. What would you do? Caruana played rook to d1 check. Rook takes rook. Queen takes rook check. The only move. Queen takes knight check. King to h2, queen to g1, and Carlsen resigned. Carlsen resigned in view of this continuation. King to g3, then queen to e3 check, forking the king and the pawn on e7. And after say king to g4, queen takes pawn. That is why Carlsen resigned in this position. Some people blame Carlsen's opening choice for his loss. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.